The following is intended for mature audiences. Make sure you ask your parents or guardians if that ain't you. Welcome back to Ready Player Two. I'm your player one, Tyler. And I'm your player two. I'm Nick. Last time was a little weird. Yeah, uh, so, uh, you probably heard Harry explain the deal, uh, so we're gonna pick up where we left off. We're gonna move on into the conductor's car and let the plot thicken. Ready to go to the conductor car? Yeah! Let's finish this. After a few more songs. Uh, things oh, I've never said. Oh, right. I get so sick of shows, like, after the band plays, like, three songs, I'm like, alright guys. Alright guys, let's get the next band that's, up. That's enough. It's now or never! It's now or never. There's no one here. <laughs> the conductor car. The train's driving itself. I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on the train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. <laughs> Look at you know, Future Nick. Zoom over to tail. Or zoom over to zoom over to tails and be like, "Oh my God, I mean, did you just fart?" <laughs> I go over to Shadow and be like, "Yeah, holy, holy shit, that's 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 noxious." I don't fart. That was a queef. I don't fart. I shit. <laughs> <laughs> my whole life I've never peed. I only piss. Heard. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on! Let's do crack! On! Uh, trash can! Trash can! You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say, always check the trash bin. But I'm good! I'm good! I'll go out on a high note. Alright. Alright. Aww. This is the conductor, but young. Huh. Wow, the conductor looks so young and dreamy in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to, to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. Oh, I found out, by the way, it's from Sonic Unleashed. That's oh, where Spagonia is. Cool. I wish it, they would have said Soliana. That's from Sonic 06. Oh. That's a funnier place I to go. Area. It would have been. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. I said penis. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Wow, that was a really... Uh, yeah, I wish that too. Also, you said penis. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. It's, uh, the arm is broken. Oh no! Our arm! It's broken! <laughs> <laughs> this robot arm has been completely torn off. It had to be by someone really strong. Yuck, how creepy. Yuck? The arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot, a lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. Just in the pocket. Whoa, speakers and... Whoa, there's so much to touch. All right, let's All right. Well, check the... Uh, the, the oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, the, the cup on the left. Oh. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Kind of be shocked if this is like all it did. Like the dining car was absolutely fucking like thrashed. Yeah, I mean beyond repair. Yeah. Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. <laughs> he loves his wife. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Get it. He loves his wife. I love my wife, Tails. <laughs> I love my wife. I love my wife. Oh, let's do the speakers. Okay. Uh, a microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Robert Bubooey. <laughs> hmm. Should I say something? Star <laughs> Peter Fox. <laughs> Mike, why are you reaching for the mic? Yes. <laughs> we were doing it. Yeah, I'm leaving a one-star review. Understandable. Oh, I dropped my my thing. 
just uh, <coughs> offering our guests some like, musical entertainment like other imagine, than uh, the big chow band. Like everyone in all the other cars being like, what the f***? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Vector's like, oh yeah, that was finally. Let's go. <laughs> I love beatboxing. That was imp <laughs> that was impressive, Mike. Thank you for sharing. Well, Tails is so nice. <laughs> What's on the TV? Click. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. I don't think it's the same screen. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, they're used. They're 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 used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said "Happy Birthday, Amy." It was so cute. Hey, we saw that too. The next ad, or the next ad for being nasal medication was a little jarring, though. Yeah, well. The high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. <laughs> not at all. Perhaps too much detail. I think that was the ad's fault, not the high. Yeah, depth. probably. Should uh, we check the vet first, or should we check this? The, the controls, I think. All right. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, uh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, oh, oh guys, guys, guys. Please continue. I think we should do whatever that is. The ice pick? Yeah, which is probably used for a lobotomy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to Sonic! That's What's why he this? can't move! Was someone playing darts? Oh, no. That's a tranquilizer dart! That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That's not possible! Actually, yeah, that was Vector. They confiscated his cleaver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blow dart added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Oh, really? Oh, well, well, I want to check, yeah, check yeah. the vent, too. A vent! Hmm, it's a large one. Seems at least one person could fit through. <laughs> An imposter, even. <laughs> Did you see anyone vent? Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Uh. Oh, the, uh, the tails. Right. Mike! Ah! <laughs> Idiot! Right. Let's talk to Amy. Yeah. Yeah, no, baby. You, too? you think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Mike? Ready to solve this case? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Hello, everyone! This is the birthday girl speaking! <laughs> and Mike beatboxing! <laughs> Please report to the conductor car at once! Mike! Sorry. <laughs> uh, I really love that they just let yeah. Mike beatbox. Yeah, dude. Mm. <laughs> 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 Wonder to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Mike. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Huh? <laughs> Where's Sonic? That blue piece of shit! Vector! Real, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. I should dump him. Ready, let's go get him. Ah, uh, Shadow was always more thoughtful anyway. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a hard word. Amenities? Yeah, I, I guess I never realized how it was spelled and I was putting in a bunch of letters that don't belong. What the hell do Mennonites have to do with this? <laughs> the train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see... I see why you're a detective outside this mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. 
I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Nice. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I do them alone all the time. <laughs> Wait. Maybe we could just ride a train and relax sometime. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. <laughs> Holy peaked. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, uh, what in the world? Uh, that's Amy's voice. That was five characters of, <laughs> of Nick's in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, where's Amy? Uh. He's dead. He's really dead. He's actually dead. Oh my god, Amy. Uh, you look like you need a nap. You got bags under your eye. Just the one. Yeah, you got a, you've got one. a bag under yeah. your one eye. Yeah, that's true. He, he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Uh, I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh, which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask you again. <laughs> well, <laughs> which one of you did this? <laughs> uh... uh. This is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm going to expose the monster who did this! But Tails is not having it! I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Here he is! Dead! Dead! <laughs> Somehow he met his match! I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too! Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one who's responsible. Whoa. Break all of their bones. And snap off their penis if they have one. S Sonic, he really was hurt the whole time. And I did nothing. I should have guessed by that blood. I should have gave him a chili dog. <laughs> I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Mike, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? They said it! Uh... Um, I think it was Espio. You know? Right? Because Shadow said that he was looking for Espio. And, yeah... And, and he, couldn't find him. Espio is the only person right now who has Whose an alibi, alibi is in question. that is in question. It's either Espio or Shadow, but it makes more sense for it to be Espio. Right. Because Espio was also really suspicious when we were questioning right. him. Right. Well, and also, like, we have proof that Shadow has gone through every single car. That is true, so but we the... also have proof that Shadow had direct access into the library. That's true. But, but that also, so like, but that's also the thing. We know that there's a hidden, uh, a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. So that's Shadow right. could have left. Espio could have heard Shadow leave. Then he could have taken the secret passage into yeah. the lounge car, snuck into the conductor's car, and used the vent to escape back to somewhere else. Yeah, maybe that's my. But theory. Espio, would Espio actually kill Sonic though? I don't know. I hope not. But I hope yeah, not. I'm picking Espio. All right. Yep. Espio. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Uh, uh, I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Mike, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Uh, we discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car. Ding, ding, ding. To the lounge car. Ding, ding, ding. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. 
I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Mike and I can explain that too. Mike? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Uh, he's a poet, so he's a quick reader. <laughs> Espio is a poet. I feel such a present. Prof I feel like such a profession would make you quite the reader. It wasn't just me. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. Ooh, ooh, what? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I can't even memorize the first letter! <laughs> I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled, and he can literally turn invisible. I've known Espio a long time. He's once sped read a book that was... He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. What a dick! <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking... Oh, since we're only talking what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right! How could Espio even know it was there? You said it yourself, kid! You were even lucky to find the passage! Mike and I might not have had the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Mike? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh... Shadow? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna... Yeah, Shadow... Because Shadow confirmed that he was not in the library card, yeah. so... That's the only answer I can think of. That wasn't exactly who I had What? Thought. Maybe you could give me a hint? They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Oh, what? Amy? Who cool. told us that? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Someone said they would show something later. Oh! Oh, Bruges! Oh, okay! The, the blueprints! Oh! Bruges! We need those blueprints! Bl oh. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Among other things. Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. Woo! Yeah! This is right, this right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Sure is. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Mike, do you have an answer for him? They were in the library. How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, Espio found them before Rouge did. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, um, the library car. It was stuffed with brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. Including murder! <laughs> the logistics are still vague though, but Mike and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure of how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Mike and I have evidence on how it was done. <clears throat> oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? The blow dart. Bing bong, bing bong. Okay, bing now to form my argument. Do I have to think? Bong. Is it thinking time? Come on, focus. focus. You're close, Mike. You're about to come. <laughs> what would Sonic do? He certainly wouldn't come early. <laughs> He comes so fast. Yeah, WWSD. What would Sonic do? Come Tails early. has been telling us this whole time. I really wanted that. Yeah, you could have risked it, but yeah, we didn't know how long it was gonna. There oh go. yeah. Nice. Shit. Oh, that's shit. okay. That's okay. That's okay. What? Huh? Oh. Ah. Ah. It's okay. Let me try again. Oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's, that's way lower stakes than I thought. Oh, did the total go down? Did it? I don't know. I, ca I can't remember if it was 60 last time or not. Oh, yeah. I just remember the collapsing, collapsing floor. Oh, oh 
I need the, to hit yeah, the bumper. You need the bouncy springs. I thought that I could jump over it. Okay. That's okay. Well, it seems that there is no consequence for failure. Cool. There, there might be. We might not get true ending now. Oh no. sure. I hate that it threw those uh, collapsing floors at us. And uh, the la and the very last. Yeah, one. without, yeah. like, any warning whatsoever. Yeah, a good telegraph would have just been a full line of bouncies. Oh, easy. Yeah, Nice. Okay. 77. Good. Wow, good I can't believe how close I got so many times. Yeah. That was whack. Brain blast! This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. Hey, Tails, what was the point of me thinking if you were just going to answer for me? That was kind of messed up. <clears throat> I, I believe oh. SP used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have to have taken the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Mike and I know another way it could have been done. The vent. True. We do. What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The arm? Yeah, that's the only thing we haven't... Have it's either used. the arm or the blueprints, so we'll try the arm first. Yeah. I don't think this is the right direction. Okay, blueprints. Okay. The blueprint, or do you think it's the map? Uh, blueprint. Alright, let's try it. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Mike, think! Think, Mike! I mean, Jimmy! That was a pass me by Ridley! Oh, <laughs> shoot. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Double nice. I got that one on accident. Quadruple nice. Jump! Whoa! This is getting tenuous. Yeah, it is. Intense. Nice! Nice! No! Oh, uh, the perspective on that one threw me off. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. No! That's okay, that's okay. Oh no! my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the f? He said big oof. Big oof, dude. Oh, man. I don't really know if there is an actual, like, okay, a, a, like a downside for this. I don't know either. Yet. Yet. Nice. Alright, alright. Boing. Okay, don't touch bing. it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're bing so binging now. Good. We're bing chilling now. Nice! That was a big number. That's a big Ooh, number. That was, uh, that was high focus. Thank you for pr Ooh. providing commentary. Oh, yeah. That. No no doubt. All right. Let's take a look. Take a look. Ta if you look inside a book, reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. <laughs> Sorry. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Uh, there's a path above the conductor car. It goes all the way to the dining car. Oh! Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? <laughs> Beware of the, the very long eel. Yeah. Beware of the, the very night eel. The long fly. That's yeah, what the is. long fly lives yeah. in the long attic. It's the only one of the only rooms on the planet that can fit it. Yeah. That makes According sense. to these footprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent uh, over there. Vent. Ugh. The vent, of course! That's what all imposters use! It's the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. <laughs> My word! There's a path back there! And a track! And a bunch of naked supermodels! A track? Huh? Naked supermodels? A track for robot arms, I think! This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train! So you're saying... I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent, took him into the dining car. Uh. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The arm. Beep. Boop. Ah. 
Phew. Now to think about my argument. Think, you can do this, Mike. Think, you can do this. Think. Jimmy, I hope while you're thinking you can come up with a home remedy for some Ritalin, you know, because they uh, took away my prescription. I can't they imagine why. Prescription? Yeah. I mean, like, I need that more than anything. More than Ultra Lord. I know. There's not much more I need more than Ultra Lord except for my Ritalin, Jimmy. I'm about to utter my catchphrase. Give me back my Ritalin. Which everyone knows is my catchphrase. That's true, Jimmy. I've heard him say it, like, a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Huh? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Uh, Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Uh, what kind of in inconsistency? Like the kind from Inception? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Oh, it was Amy. Yeah. It was her informant. Yeah. Who gave the hot tip. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Uh, Tails, you're... You're right! Espio lied to me! <laughs> and I'm angry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill him! Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh, no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. I'm gonna kick your ass. Mm. And then your dick. And then I'll make you lick the floor. That's hot. Misheard you? Y yes, yes. I said, uh, Sonic's gonna get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I, I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Gah! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? <laughs> I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor's car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. All right, I admit it, Tails. I peed your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> it, it was, was you, SBO! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <sighs> <sighs> uh, uh, man. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Sonic, you're okay! Sonic! And just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer! Right. <laughs> mm. I had a weird f***ing dream, guys. <laughs> Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it! You got me! Is what I said to him. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non- Oh, sorry. It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. 
Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. That was some freestyle <laughs> brapping. The train's a bad dick. Uh. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? You sound like you're stoned out of your gourd. No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? what? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the futures of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't seen it. When he took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Oh no! It's that one! Nani? A flicky? The tiny animal? N Nanato! There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source! It's Eeg character! I told the conductor the trade needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Uh, really bad timing, uh, purple. Uh, Come on, man. <laughs> Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Uh, oh, that was the conductor. Uh, hey! Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> You're my best friend! <laughs> I knew something was wrong and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do that this or do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him. I'm screaming as the arms approached me! <laughs> I, was hit qu I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Wowee. And then I died. What a twist! And then I died. Oh no! Uh, uh, everyone, I have something to admit. I killed Sonic. And I killed Sonic. I also ate all the <laughs> I, ate the I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, the situation has gotten so serious, why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. <laughs> Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should be getting hit with a blow dart. Uh, I was just following the rules. <laughs> Use this blow dart on Sonic. Stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping <laughs> agent. Thank you again for choosing Mirage Express. Staff. See? What is that? It says, Use this blow dart on Sonic. Stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you, for, thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with the card. It's signed Staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Ugh. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Mike, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Uh, the train itself. Bing, bing. I believe something's been orchestrating something behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. Uh, first we learned the train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder game. Murder mystery game, I mean. Train? Uh, Come out and show yourself! Amy? It's my birthday! And I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall <laughs> with her hammer! I'm with you, Amy! This train can have it! Yeah! I've been wanting to punch it all day! <laughs> come on! Come on! There's gotta be a better way 
way to get the train's attention. Oh, what was that? Uh-oh. Oh, Phenomenal. it's red. Whoa, it looks angry. We're in the red zone. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Oh my god. <sighs> Here, I can get him down. Don't, Don't touch, touch him. him. Uh, uh, is that the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned! Huh. What are you- ENOUGH! The train's picking up speed! Everyone grab something! Uh, which of these buttons turns the train off? W whoa Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive! Goodbye! <laughs> Whoa! N no! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Ah! It happened again. <laughs> the end! And then we're all, we're all in the... the... God damn, we're re we actually did come all the way back to the dining car. Wow, we... Mm, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Oh, goodness. Is this not over? Uh, ah! My head. Tails... Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? No need to yell, bud. <laughs> Sonic! I'm so sorry! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I was just shitting my brains out. Turns out sleep agents give you the runs. <laughs> Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back in the dining car. But where's everyone else? Great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing! Wow. <laughs> amazing, huh? Even though I almost died. You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. <laughs> Let's get our bearings and take a look around, I guess. Good idea. Lead the way. Uh, maybe we should call it. We've I think been so. going for over an hour. I think so. Uh... Hopefully there's enough content next time. Otherwise it'll be a really brief finale. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.